Hey campers, George here, back in the man cave again. If you remember, if you saw the videos on my walkabouts with Lee, uh, Lee Hunter from work, we went on a walkabout and he uses a, a cook system to make coffee in that. And that cook system is this guy, the Kelly Kettle. And I thought, you know, I need to look at this a little bit more. After all, it is nice and shiny. And it works really well for him. Uh, there was a lot of things I liked about it. It worked fast. It was easy to use. And so, I made an order. Look, you see. And I was just looking through their brochure here. And what I got was the whole kit, which is the Scout, which was the middle of the road one. They have a, a large, a medium, and a small. And I thought, well, the medium would work. So I got that, and here it is. Let's have a look at it. Basically, the King Kettle was designed by an Irish guy, I believe. I believe he was Irish. A fisherman. So the base system that you can get comes in, in this box and it comes with a bunch of brochures and things they have all that information in a nice big box and as you can see it is not small the box is pretty big and uh, that was the first clue to me i should have got the small i think if you're cooking for uh two or three people this system will work I think the small as a, a person on your own, and I think that's what Lee has is the small system. Well, let's have a look at it anyway, because really, it doesn't matter which size you get. The accessories are basically the same thing, just smaller or bigger. So it comes in this little bag uh, where everything fits together. And here you can see it here. Uh, you have the kettle this guy here I did start a fire in it <laughs> just so that you know now the base system all you're gonna get is this guy the kettle sits on top it comes with a plug in it which fits in here and this is your fire base that sits in there and what you do is you put your water in here which is on the outside this kettle you can see all the way through. See that? And what happens is when you build your stick fire here, it heats up on the inside all the water and you can pour it out of here and you have your stopper in here, which goes like that. The nice thing is you can actually put the water in there, put the stopper in and off you go, almost like a canteen. It has so, a wood handle on it, which uh, works like this. Um, it just is fitted on there nicely. The, the stopper does have a chain to keep it on there, and there's a reason for that, and I'll show you that. The other accessories I got, like I said, was the cook system. And this little cook set uh, comes with a, a lid and a pot. And the lid would sit on the pot like that, and you have a pot, or you can use this as a small frying pan, if you want to call it. And it comes with the handle. Now the handle just is a very, it works really simply and you let it go, put it on, grab it and now you've got yourself a pan. Same thing with the pot, that goes on there like that. So what you can do is they have two different ways in which to use the cook set. And there is an adapter that goes on the top here so while you're boiling your water you can cook. That's the theory. And how that works is, let me see if I can find the gizmo, he says. So the adapter to cook on top with the cook system is an accessory, and it's called the pot support. You see it there? And all it is, is two pieces of stainless steel or aluminum, and it goes together, the slots, it slots in together like that. See that? And yep, it sits right on top of there. And you can put your pot 
on there. And the heat coming up the middle of the, the kettle will cook your food. This is the uh, pot support system. So let's say you're boiling your water. By the way, when you boil the water, you, you want to take the, the, the lid out. And that is why I got this guy, which is a whistle that goes on there so that when your water boils, just like any kettle, it'll whistle at you and say, woohoo, we're so ready to cook. The first system was the support. The other option you have is you have this one here. And it's just like a an extension on the base. You would sit this on there and put your pipe right on there. So we have that. The other thing that accessory you can get, by the way, this is an accessory, it's add-on, is this guy here. And that is a grill. And basically you can see it comes folded in half and it opens out and you can sit that right in the pot and you would put your pot on top or your piece of chicken steak or whatever for your carnivore people and cook it on there or your frying pan and of course it's going to be hot you got your handle and that lifts it off and you can do it so it is a complete cook system there are other things they offer as well. You can buy an ultimate kit. And the ultimate kit comes with the kettle. It comes with the, the pot uh, holder on the top. It comes with the, the grill and the base. And it comes with this guy. It comes with the pot and the pan. And then you can get two plates and two mugs that go with it. And which is really nice. I mean, everything matches. It really looks nice. And I, I didn't get the plate or the cups yet. <laughs> but I might just do that. I'm really liking this whole thing. It's out to be a lot bigger than I thought it would be. This is a little big for my packs. But having looked at Lee's one, which is the smaller one, which is, I think is called, yep, yeah, it's called the Trekker, which is the small. This is the Scout system which is the medium one, and then you have even a bigger one, which is called the base camp. Now, the base camp, obviously, you could uh, feed and coffee a bunch of people with it. And if you look on the brochure here, it gives you all the information on it. And it even shows you how it all goes together to fit into that bag. So, I'm right, personally, right now, I'm thinking, hmm, I need to look at the tracker system. But... I have the medium right now and that's what I'm going to show you and like I said everything is the same just in a smaller or a bigger size and they all go together in that bag. It's a really great idea and the nice thing about it is you can use anything that burns. Paper, sticks, it's it's just like you would if you had your bush box or something like that and you put the little the twigs and everything in there. I got to tell you it works great. All the heat is concentrated into the inner side of the kettle. And of course, this is a shell around it with a funnel, like, like a chimney. And the heat goes right up here and it really boils it quickly. It, it has the handle and you have the stopper. And you never, never boil with this blocked. Water expands and the steam, you might break the kettle. Now, the trick is why they have it on here is you have the spout on the side. So when you want to pour your, car, your your hot water that you just boiled, you can't just grab this and tip it over. You're going to burn yourself. But you have this, the chain, attached to the back, and you would pour that way. You see how that works? It's just like a pivot. That's the basics of it. What I'm going to do now is hopefully show you the video I'm going to video the whole thing of the kiddos cooking a meal at the farm in California. Stay tuned. Where did you put the water? It's in the Kelly kettle. See the big yellow thing in front of you? I mean orange? Oh, it's like a cylinder. That's right. They're smarter than they look. Oh, am I having guacamole and chips? Mm-hmm. 
One tie spoiled. Where did the ruby go? Hmm? Where did the buzzard go? No, I don't see him anymore. Let's get the purple. Mm -hmm. You can actually put this on top. Mm -hmm. And it helps with the air flow. And oh, take, wow. Always take this out. Mm -hmm. And you can just keep it. So we got it going and the fire going and we're just adding wood to the top if we need it. Not really, but I'm trying to get some coal so we can cook on top using the grill. And there, I don't know if you can see that, see the flame inside. Reminder, never cook with that blocked. And it's boiling. The correct way to take the kettle off, grab this chain and the handle and lift it up at an angle because the top is a lot of heat coming out of there and then you can pour. We're not making any coffee or anything, we're just going to cook. So we're done with the kettle. So I have my Rovertac, this guy, you can see here, is a multi-tool I was looking at and it does have a can opener somewhere in here, so let's find it, screwdriver, bottle opener, oh, found it, can opener, so let's see if it works. What was that? That was T-Dog trying to get into the house. Yeah, this has the same problem as most multi tools. Is it working? Yeah. 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 Is it working? Kind of, I mean, it's opening the can, but. Yeah, she just got kicked in the head twice in the last five minutes. It worked. Only thing I don't like is how loose it is, mm. but it worked. It's fine. Oh God. It's embarrassing. No matter. Oh. <laughs> I'll put music to it or whatever. If you don't want to. What? Put the lid on it. It'll make it hotter. Oh. Just remember it's going to be hot to take off. I know. Is that the cheek?
pretty getting warm. That's fine. Then. What do you think they're ready for? Ooh. This one's just about ready to sink. Mm. Yeah, it's bubbling. Who wants it? I'm going to start um, beans. I will in a minute. Just finish the tortilla. I don't want to knock anything over. Yeah, make a burrito. Let's see. Do you want me to hold the handle? Okay. It should be okay. Be very careful. With my two little dollops and my beans. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. And then I want a little bit of salt. Oh, gosh. Okay. Don't even... Do we have a... Oh, yes, please. Beans. Beans, avocado. Oh. These are bomb. Like this looks like that. Taco. Real one. Huh? Yummy. Now to try it out. Hmm. 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 I'm not gonna die. We'll put that there. <laughs> Pretty good. So there you go. Kelly kettle, boiled water, made us some burritos, bean and cheese. Add meat if you're a carnival. Mm. What? I said for my next trick, I make a bubbly pizza. So there you go. They made me a burrito and they ate as well. And that was for three of us. And there was more than enough to cook it all. We went through a little bit of a learning process using it, but it worked great. And we had a lot of fun with it. And it's a nice system. I'm really impressed with it. Now I just want to show you how it all packs up for you. And you take, if, if you have all these accessories, obviously, this is how you would pack it. Now you have your the base, the extension, where you would put your pot and pans on to cook. That turns around, sits in the base. You've got your pot, that goes in there. You've got your lid, that goes in there. Now, I like to put the handle in there. Obviously, this doesn't fit in there because it's a little bit bigger than the pot. And this goes on top. If you have these, they're a little big. And you can't really put them in. But there's enough room in that bag for these to go on the side. Surprisingly, they don't offer anything in the way of spoons and forks and things. But if you watch the previous video I made, which is the Gerber system here, the all-in-one uh, knife, fork, and spoon, um, I use that. I put that in there and put it all together. So now you have this all together on top. with everything and this will all fit 
into the bag. I do that. Let me just show you the whistle. Basically, the whistle fits in there, and what you would do, it, by the way, it doesn't come with the chain simply because, oh, they said it didn't come with the chain, and now it does. Simply because you have a chain with the kettle. But this would replace that. Okay, so you could put your, your whistle on there. The, the issue that I had is that if you do that, your whistle is going to leak. So you can't put water in and store it and take it with you. You would have to use your stock. And if you look on the side here, it actually has a, uh, a little C-clamp that goes on there. And you could just put them together. There you go. And you could have them both on, or one or the other. And obviously you have to be careful when you're doing this, you don't want to burn these. So you want to keep them away from the baker. And there's more than enough chain to do that while you're cooking. You whistle in there. So you got the fire going. I wanted to see, because they don't have a big opening here for air to go in. Which kind of surprised me. But it works great. There's plenty. You've got that system where the air can come in here and go up through the kettle, up through the chimney. So, and obviously they designed it that way to give you the heat. That you and what you would do is then put it in the bag. Put the base in the bag. Put the kettle on top. In the top of the kettle, okay. put these in there. Okay. Obviously, if you had water in, you would block it. And then, you, as you can see, there's plenty of room in here, and I can put all these things just down the side here, including my grill, which just goes in the side there and uh, cinches up. You got a cable lock there, and there is your system right there, all in one one little bag. Now, lots of rattling, but I'm thinking if I get the small system, and it is a lot smaller having looked at Lee's one and he kept it in his pack, that this could work for me on the small one. I will put a, a link to Kelly Kettle on Amazon, and you can go there yourself and have a look, see it at what they offer, all the things they offer, and they have these nice little brochures that comes with it, that gives you all the information and here you can see the three systems and you can see the mugs here and they have all the other accessories there they have another brochure basically the same thing which is the accessories and everything I do offer water filtration systems and uh, I didn't know that and I haven't looked at them yet I'm too scared to I'll probably spend money if I do but what do you do? You like, you share, and you subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. And I'm pretty sure I'll be back with some other gizmo. Or a hiking staff. Or a hiking stick. Or even a knob carry. There's something you can look up. Just saying. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be safe out there.